What's up everybody? Welcome back to another peanut episode and today we are testing out these new clock units Let's hop right into the time factory for our first time ever trying this and we're gonna see just how far we get using just these clock units of course we've got our santa tv as our weapon of choice in terms of money making we're gonna put him at the start here and then we've got the clock woman clock spider the godly chief clockman only 1.5 in existence right now and the large clock man over here we're gonna have to let these first couple waves skip on through because we are dirt poor and our cheapest unit is the large clock man at five hundred dollars now we've got all three of our santas down we can go ahead wow this is actually a large map i wonder how difficult it's gonna be we can actually kill the first wave i think we're just gonna let it go by though and put our large clock man over here and forget about that first wave oh he's attacking extremely slow he does oh, a shit. lot of damage but oh my is he slow maybe we're gonna try a different unit out what about this the okay cooldown boost range dps man i'm really hoping oh my god i think i'm gonna put the clock spider down Okay, wave one has just gone into the clock base portal. We're at 300. We're, oh, okay. We can now put down our clock spider. Wow, okay. This has a lot of range. Maybe we're going to put him down right here. Oh my god, that is so cool. We are unfortunately going to have to let most of this wave... Okay, let's restart that. Clearly, uh, we're a little <clears throat> new to this. So once we reach to the point where uh, we unfortunately died i mean of course we didn't die we were just testing something right uh we'll we'll skip back to that all right guys we're back at wave five here and instead of placing our large clock man who is extremely slow we went right ahead and put the clock spider in first that way we only took 20 damage to the clock base portal and now we can start building more units. So let's try and test these out. We've got the large clock man going back in. Don't worry, we didn't bench him for good. It was just temporary, just to make sure we didn't die again at wave five. Uh, that was kind of embarrassing. Anyways, this clock spider is insanely cool and seems to be doing quite a bit of damage. So we're going to keep an eye on that and see how that goes. His first upgrade, though, is $1,800. That is insanely pricey. Okay, the large clock man does have the strong time stop. 20 seconds, and he has it available as of level one. So that's going to be important to use when we need it. I kind of want to put in the chief clock man right away. $1,500, but we're going to save him for a little bit later. Got to keep a little bit of suspense, you know? The chief clock man, only $1.5. 5,000 of them in existence in the game and I've got one right here you guys are gonna get to see him fully maxed out but in order to do that we gotta put some money making units in okay we're gonna go ahead and place this oh yeah she's got the gun the clock woman's got that golden gun look at that pretty epic we can boost now some more of our Santa TVs getting that extra mule okay Okay, clock woman right there. Look at that. Well, um, kind of sleeping right now, but attacking pretty slow. Cooldown is half a second, but still doing 750 damage a shot. You know, and we are doing the cooldown boost. 10% cooldown boost on that. That's pretty epic. You know, that's going to come in useful later on. That's for sure. It's too bad the movable units don't get the boosts. We've already been that over that a couple times now, but you know, it's, it's, it's coming. Maybe they'll get around to that one day. Now, he's got to... Maybe I got to put him in a better spot. Because every time he goes to sleep, I can't use this time stop ability. Which we don't need right now. But we will end up needing it eventually. And when that time comes, we want to make sure it's available. Or else uh, we're going to go through some embarrassing moments. But anyways, right now it is wave 13. We're doing pretty good. We've had a little bit of resistance from the toilets over here. Oh, wait, this guy got by real quick. Don't worry, my spider will catch him around on the other side, on the flip side. Okay, cat toilet, relax, bro. 
Okay, I can't upgrade him. I can upgrade him. And wait, um, bro, he's going to get him, right? Okay, he got him. I was getting a little nervous because I have no idea how much damage they do. But I think it would have been a lot. Maybe even the whole 380. And uh, then I would have lost <clears throat> again. And that would have been pretty embarrassing. So we avoided that. And 1,800 there. 4,000 for the next one. But look at the damage it's doing. 6,500 damage. Every oh my gosh. This thing is OP. I'm going to upgrade him again. And look at his range. Dude, this thing is crazy. Okay. I want to upgrade all these units, but I need money. So I got to keep focusing on my Santa TV. No, they're so boring. Oh my God. Look at the AOE red that just went in there. Can we get an instant replay of that? That was insane. Okay. $6,000 we've gotten out. Okay. Everything is asleep again. Upgrade that. Okay, guys, can you just let me upgrade my units, please? There you go. They're all level seven. Now we need one more upgrade on all of them to get that max money. Look at this guy, this magnet toilet. Like, bro, get off him, you sneaky little bugger. Okay, we've got $5,000. For some reason, I thought we'd have enough to upgrade at least one of them, but I calculated wrong. That's okay. We've got the damage right now coming from the clock spider. This guy is absolutely insane. You guys want to make sure you level up your battle passes and get him. He's not that far in and he is so good. All right, we've got one maxed out Santa. We're going to work on the other two and then we're going to upgrade these units. Let's go. We've got $5,700. Okay, there's one. The next one coming on wave 21. Maybe even before that, if we kill all these toilets right away. Oh my god, I can't wait to see all this red when this spider comes in and chases down its prey. Watch this. Here he comes. And look at that. He's just melting all of them at once. Absolutely insane. Okay, our Santa TVs are now all upgraded. We're going to upgrade the clock woman twice. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Bam. Now we've got an 18% cooldown. That's actually massive. This guy just likes to sleep though, unfortunately. That's okay. Look at that. The gun has a chance of freezing the units. That's one of its insane abilities. Look at that. It's freezing the toilets in place. That's actually going to be so useful as well as the 60 or 6,250 damage that it does every shot. That is crazy damage. Pretty good unit. Not the best, but honestly, the, the boost is really good. So now that it's max level, look at that. 17,000 damage every 0.5 seconds. That's actually pretty good. And the fact that it gets to freeze, I don't know what the chance is. I'd have to look at uh, what the odds are of it freezing a toilet, but it seems like they're pretty good. Seems to happen pretty often. Now we're going to upgrade our clock spider all the way to max 12,000 damage every 0.5 seconds. The range is awesome as well. I don't know why he has a second circle. I don't know what his special like ability or something is. But we'll have to look into that. If someone wants to let me know down in the comments, let me know. We're now upgrading the large clock man level four. He's got some pretty good damage too. He's going to go up to 50,000 damage soon. As soon as we get this $900, we'll be able to upgrade him again and get that upgrade. There we go. He's max level. He's doing 50,000 damage every 0.7 seconds. Also quite a bit of damage. And he gets, of course, that strong time stop. Guys, it is now time to place our chief clock man. We're going to put him... I, I don't know what his circle does, so we're going to make sure that... Oh, okay. He places clock spiders. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. So there's a clock spider here. This unit, 8% range. Okay, so he gives a range boost. This guy's got 8% range and 22% cooldown now. Oh my God, look at the range on the clock woman right now because he's getting boosted by the chief clock man. 22, now 10% range boost. And he's doing some good damage. What is this? Rewind toilet. Chief Clockman rewinds one toilet back to the start. 
Oh my god, that is going to be so meta in endless mode. Get those toilets back to the start. I wonder what the cooldown is on that, but that is actually an insane ability. Can we look at that? I don't know. I just pressed it. Oh, you see? It set the mutant toilet 2.0. Look at it. That is cool. I just wanted to test it. Oh, and he's throwing dynamite. Look at that. He's on fire and he's throwing dynamite sticks and they're just blowing up AoE damage. My god, these new units are so cool. I can't believe I got my hands on this chief clock, man. If you guys like that, please leave a like on this comment or on this comment on this video. Sorry. Make sure you're subscribed and I would love to see 500 likes on this video. If we can reach that, that'll make my day. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandparents. I don't know. Tell anybody at school. The peanut is popping off. It's wave 32 now. We've got our first Chief Clockman max level. I feel like we're just going to put more. Oh, that's a long cooldown, though. Look at that. 530 second cooldown coming down on the Chief Clockman. I'm not sure what else to place. I'm going to put some more clock spiders just because the fact that they don't go to sleep is really OP. And he's got some really good AoE damage. So we're going to go ahead and put a couple of those in and max them out as soon as we can. Look at that. And the clock spider is going through. Man, that is so cool. It's like an engineer with special abilities mixed with like, I don't even know, some crazy stuff. So we can put another one like here. There we go. Do we get... Oh, they don't get the range boost. Man, they got to do something about that. Like, I know that they probably move out of the range and that's probably why it's stopping them from putting stuff in. But that would like at least range boost would be so cool anyways who am i to tell him what to do i'm just a peanut brain okay wave 35 guys how many waves in this anyways is this like endless mode i feel like there's unlimited waves to this but who knows i guess we'll have to wait and find out so far there's 36 that we've beaten and we're still going strong Units are just getting uh, pummeled over here at the start by this clock spider army that we are going to build. There's two of them here. Wait, I think there's only one and he's taking care of all these by himself. There's actually only one clock spider here, guys, right now. And look at the damage he's doing. That's actually completely insane. I have to say my chief clockman, though, is sending the clock spiders to go defend the other clock spider. I know that's a lot of spiders. <laughs> Anyways, they're doing a lot of damage themselves. Look at this. Ally health. He's going to get 500,000. That's insane. And then range 15% range boost on the other units. And at the same time, he's throwing his dynamite sticks. I'm going to have to place one a little closer, I think, just to make sure that he's blowing stuff up at the middle. There is so much AoE damage coming out of these units. It's crazy. All right, we're going to place one here. He should be able to reach the start as soon as we give him a few upgrades. Look at that. He's already got plus 15% range because of the other guys, but he's going to get more once he gets upgraded because he does gain range on his own ability. Man, look at this. The massive buzzsaw oven doesn't even stand a chance. Look at all the red coming out of these units that just came out of their spawn. This is insane. Oh my god, these units are OP. I wonder what the new strat will be for endless mode. All right, our chief clockman has been put asleep, but it's okay. He's back up and running now, ready for his upgrade. His abilities now reach the start where he's throwing those dynamite sticks. Look at him do that AoE damage. We're missing $4,000 for another maxed out chief. Oh my God. And the fact, look at that. Look at the effects. He's glowing. He's literally on fire glowing. I don't know. He's got a cane. He's got a special hat. His clock face. Bro, I don't even know what's going on. There's so much going on right now. And look at all these clock spiders coming in. Each of them with 500,000 health. That is good stuff. Look at this. Rewind toilet still on cooldown. That thing's cooldown is absolutely crazy. And I wonder what the strong time stop cooldown is. We're going to use it now. Okay, look at that. It's a 20 second and it's got 200 second cooldown. So that's not too bad, honestly. I thought it might have been worse because look how long it stops time for. 
20 whole seconds. That's actually crazy. I know I used it at a pretty dumb place, but you know, we were just testing things out. We can now put another chief probably in this corner and he'll also reach the front. Give him a couple upgrades. We can actually almost upgrade him to max right away. And look at that, he's already reaching the front of the map wave 46 and we are still just running these toilets down guys i'm still missing the ultimate i want that unit so bad if you have it or if you know anybody who has it write it down in the comment write your username down in the comment and we can maybe you know get a trade going or if you want to just play a game and show me it you know let's we could we could talk we could talk but I want to see that unit so bad. There's only been people, you know, claiming to have it. But I haven't actually seen it yet. And I want it. I've been opening so many crates. And unfortunately, with a 0.001% chance, it's impossible to get. You got to be like the luckiest person ever and just win the lottery. I don't know. But anyways, let's keep going here, guys. Wave 50 now. There's no, like, bosses or anything, so it's hard to tell how many waves there are. I don't see a boss on this wave, so I think that there's more than 50 waves. We've got a couple big police mutant toilets coming out, and we're all... Oh, we still got three units that we can place down. This Okay, this clock spider is kind of useless. I know he was kind of a safety net, but still... We'd rather get some damage going out over here. Potentially, yeah, we could put him right here next to his buddy over here and just upgrade him completely. Look at that. Also reaches the whole front area. That's like perfect placement. We can also place another one. We're just going to have like a line of chief clockmen. I'm surprised there's no limit of like two or three or whatever it is that you can place at once because these guys are just throwing their dynamite. Wait, what the heck is that magnet titan toilet? Are you serious? Maybe there is only 50 waves. Here we are though, guys. I don't see any other waves coming out, so I think this is it. We've got the magnet titan toilet, and I don't know what he's doing. Wait, oh my God, he's turning my units against us? Is that what's happening right now? We gotta get him down. Guys, he's less than 50% health. I think that we're going to be able to do it, but this is going to come down to the wire. Oh my God. Look at him go. He's getting absolutely melted right now by, I think, the clock woman who keeps freezing him in place. Okay, guys, we got this. This is our first ever try beating it, and we've got it. Let's see how many clocks we get. Wow. We've got 600 coins, double the coins for a total of 1,200 coins and 250 clocks, guys. Wow, 18 minutes and one second. Let me know what your best time is on this map down in the comments, and we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to stay nutty.